I would just like you to know that all of my neighbors can see me standing with the tripod. It's great. I'm so excited to do this video. I want to start off by saying that for the past 48 hours, I've been pretty much having an Essie Button marathon. If you don't know who Essie Button is, oh my god. Okay, a lot of people will say, like, if you don't know who so-and-so it is, oh my god, go check them out, blah, blah, blah. I seriously mean it. I feel a lot of my energy stemming from her today just because I've been watching so many of her videos. She's very, very chatty, and I'm not very chatty, but I'm feeling as chatty as I'm ever going to be today. And also my beauty Amazon wish list that I keep going, just of like products that I see around the internet. Yeah, that thing has exploded since I started watching her videos, so that's a bit of a problem. But anyway, let me just jump into what this video is. This week on Derpina Mode, we <laughs> are doing our lipstick collections lipstick time. Maybe everyone's lips are like this and I just don't realize it, but I feel like my lips are extra flaky. Flaky lips, chapped lips make it really hard to wear lipstick and I really like wearing lipstick, but it means that a lot of formulas won't work for me because it just looks like I have these little chunks of skin hanging off. It's just, it's not cute. I'm going to show you two fancy chapsticks that I have. Uh, I think the brand is fresh, but they're the sugar lip treatments. These are actually free gift things from Sephora. If you have a Sephora loyalty card account thing. On your birthday, you can go in and get a free gift. I was really excited about this because I had always seen the full-size versions of these and they're a little bit pricey and I was just kind of like, I don't really want to spend that on chapstick. I've only been using the rosé one and I keep it in my, my purse. It just melts like crazy. It's a struggle to keep this thing on the stick and when it was even longer, it was so wobbly. And this is a little bit tinted and it does look really, really nice on it and moisturizes great. No flaky weirdness. I do want to try their lip scrub thing because maybe that would help my issues. Next in my lip collection. Revlon Lip Butters! If you watch beauty guru videos, beauty channels, you have you have to have heard of these. The colors that I have are Tutti Fruity and Fig Jam. I do actually have some reviews of these on my blog and I'll link those posts below. I don't know if this is going to be a trend that you can see in my lipstick collection, but I really love orange colored lipsticks. Fig Jam is freaking gorgeous on me. I love it. It's like mature. It's classy. They do kind of melt. So I'm wary to bring these anywhere. So my three drugstore lipsticks. Maybelline lipstick. The color is 435 Plum Perfect. Yeah, it's like a deep purpley color. It's a pretty intense shade. So I have to be sort of feeling it. The next lipstick that I have, this Milani lipstick in color number 42, Mandarina. Gorgeous color. Smells really nice. Issues with the chunky lip. Haven't worn this one in a very long time. The last drugstore lipstick is a Revlon. Revlon Matte Lipstick in Nude Attitude number 001. <laughs> this is also the curse of the chunky. I'm actually wearing it right now, but it looks kind of peachy. I also feel like with that one, when I first put it on, it looks cre creasy and gross, but if I leave it for like 15 minutes, it'll sort itself out and look fine. So now we're moving into my higher end stuff. The first one of these isn't a lipstick, it's a lip stain. Smashbox. Their Limitless Lip Stain and Color Seal Balm in the color guava. This is like a really nice pinky color. I was kind of hoping for something orange when I bought it. This was the orangest thing they had. Also, the bomb is really, really nice. And I could wear the bomb by itself. The next three are Lancome. All of these are my mom's. My mom has been buying Lancome forever. Some of these she probably gave to me some of them I might have stolen from her drawer. Also, because I did not buy these myself, I don't know how old, some of these might be super freaking old and I should throw them out. But I just want pink organza. I, I tell myself I don't really like it because it has like this sort of shine and sparkle to it. It actually looks kind of okay sometimes. My second favorite is beige every day. I guess this is the my lips but better sort of shade for me. My favorite one that I've stolen slash been given by my mom is Mandarin Velvet. A red with like some burnt orange in it. This is just like so good. It's so good. It's old as balls. It has to be because I've had, I've, 
held on to this thing forever. My last two are like, I guess what I would consider my ultimate luxury lipsticks. I didn't pay for either of these either, which yay. So the first one may be one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. Or it was at least when I got it. I'm not wearing it as much now. Okay, just show the damn thing here. This is the Givenchy Rouge Interdi. It's in Fruity Orange, number 14. The packaging is just gorgeous. Orangey, reddish, wonderful, goes on so smoothly. Just, just like the best formula ever. I had been lusting over this lipstick for probably five months, maybe more, at Sephora. Every time I would go to Sephora, I would try this on, just walk out of the store with it on. One of my friends, Annie, surprised me with this as a thank you for taking her headshots. That was just so, that was just so good. Last but not least, my YSL Rouge Pure Couture. I think this is just the only color in the gold thing, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Blessed after this for a while. Got it from Santa Claus. This is just a very, very bold red. If you wanna get like that classic, like a wham bam, thank you ma'am red, you should definitely get this YSL one. Hello, I'm back again, and if you can't tell, it's a different day. This was my lipstick collection. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!